We are still waiting to learn the name of the suspect, but no officers were hurt. New 6's Vanessa Ariza joins us now live from the business where the suspect was first stopped by police. And Vanessa, you spoke with the police chief. What did he say? Lisa, I would just want to let you guys know this is just one of the many scenes that police are investigating tonight. I want to go ahead and step out of the way so you can get a better look. We are in a shopping center along Universal Boulevard. The suspect backed that stolen vehicle into this business and then eluded police. The chief during the press conference saying this crime covers multiple areas. Now here's the breakdown of the areas this guy drove through and where. Unmarked police vehicles were already waiting for him here in the Universal Boulevard shopping center area. Now, as a result, he backed into the day spa, smashing the front windows, then tried to run over the officers. That's when the police chief said that they fired shots. That suspect trying to get away by zigzagging through multiple streets at certain times, hitting an elderly couple and a canine vehicle. Now, it all ended around the Lake Nona area near the 417 ramp, where police say he surrendered once he saw the canine units were ready to go if he attempted to run. Now, we spoke with a witness who saw what happened here at the shopping strip. She says she got a good look at this guy. He looked pretty aggressive. He looked like he didn't care who he hurt. He just took off, but um, it was pretty pretty split second, so I don't know what was going on in the guy's head. Now, that suspect, we have been told, is a Hispanic male, but as far as his name and who he is, that's what authorities are working to get right now. They say that they will be releasing that shortly. Now, that couple who was hit by that man as he was driving that stolen car were told that they are expected to be okay. The people who were in the K-9 unit were told that they will be okay as well. And thankfully, no officers were hurt during all of this. There's so much more information to go through with this case as they're in the very early investigative stages in all of this. But of course, we will continue to keep you updated and bring you more information coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. Lisa? Vanessa Ariza reporting live for us. Thank you.